Okay, so this video is so controversial that YouTube had to take it down, so this is me re-uploading it. So if you feel like you've seen this before, you have. And first I want to tell you, uh, you know, I'm sorry that YouTube pulled this video down. I did think it was completely unfair. I was making fun of Kenneth Copeland and the video I was making fun of got to stay up and mine got taken down because of COVID related reasons. So I'm retitling, repurposing, editing some things out, putting this in and hoping that YouTube will let me repost it because whenever I tried to just repost the original video file, it would not let me. I hope that this is okay. Again, if you wanna see the full video without any of my edits or this intro, you can click the link in the description to go to slug.com slash Jacqueline. And that is a free speech site that I've been using. They are anti-censorship, anti-PC, anti all the things that YouTube likes to delete. It's my not safe space, safe space. So make sure you follow me on slug.com slash Jacqueline because I'm sure there are gonna be a lot of things now and again in the future that I feel like I have to repost on there for fear of losing my Twitter account or Instagram account or God, I even have had TikToks removed. I'm just controversial all over the place. But I really do appreciate you guys following me over there because it does make me feel like no matter what the internet has to say, I still have a place that I can be fully me without having to worry about getting in trouble from somebody somewhere. Before I jump into the video, I have two quick announcements. First, I have new merch on ffemerch.com. A lot of people liked the red sweatshirt versus the black sweatshirt. And since I already had black t-shirts, I had red t-shirts made and they're really cute. And even though corn quarantine is technically over and a lot of places are reopening. It's still good to wear a mask even if they don't require it. I still wear a mask to the store and if I do decide one of these nights to go to a bar, I don't know about that, but if I do, I'm gonna wear a mask and I actually had cute little face masks made with Wine Kitty and Future Sunsets designs. So if you wanna check those out, go to ffvmerch.com. And that would mean so much to me. You can also support me on patreon.com slash Jacqueline. And this month, if you become a Patreon in the $15 tier and up, you'll be receiving a signed postcard. Hold on, let me grab one. A signed postcard, I signed it right there. There's a cute little note on the back. And uh, yeah, everybody who is on my Patreon in that tier and up will get a very nice postcard from me via snail mail. Enjoy the video. Hopefully I don't get in a lot of trouble for doing this. Guess we'll see. Are you ready for the good news? I'm not just talking about the obvious good news of Jesus Christ saving you from hell. I'm talking about something that applies to current world events and I feel like you're not gonna believe me when I first say this so I'm gonna back it up with evidence. You people always want evidence. I did use the scientific method to come to the conclusion that prayer in fact can cure any disease. Lots of people agree with me, so I'm right. My favorite person in the world, President Trump, was giving a speech the other day and he had this brilliant man, who's also kind of hot, go on stage and say this. Now try not to let it blow your mind too much, but it's really, he's really speaking the truth. God had been taken out of our schools and lives. A nation had turned his back on God. And I encourage you to use this time at home to get to home to get back in the word, read our Bibles and spend time with our families. You heard him. You know, maybe this whole thing is a blessing in disguise because it can make people read their Bibles and spend time with family. You're welcome. Now, some of you guys might be questioning the credibility of this man or his intellect, but let me tell you what, anybody that good with pillows knows what the hell they're talking about. With our great president, vice president, and this administration and all the great people in this country praying daily, we will get through this and get back to a place that's stronger and safer than ever. There we go. I told you I wasn't going to just throw things out there without facts to back it up. There you have it. Prayer. All the families coming together to pray is the answer. Praying daily. Praying daily is how we're going to get through this and be stronger and safer than ever, just like Mr. Pillow said. So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm just going to ask everyone to put your hands together and close your eyes with me. Dear tiny baby Jesus, we don't want any more illness in general, just ever. So if you could just, you know, fix everything, that'd be great. Amen. <laughs> I felt pretty good about that. I don't know about you guys, but I think that might have done it. Hold on, let me just... Oh, I see. Uh... Okay, so it seems, uh, according to the internet, that there is still a problem, which I... <laughs> 
Jesus, what do I do? I tried praying. I went on the internet. I heard prayer was the answer. I did the prayer. There's still a problem. What else do I do? I looked on the internet for an answer. I thought I had an answer. Wait, I looked on the internet. I get it. I, uh, I'm wrong. I'm so sorry. I want to issue a formal apology to everybody out there. I thought that my prayer was the answer and I was wrong. Clearly, it didn't work, which if I'm being honest, can only mean that I did the prayer wrong. So let me go back to the internet for the answer. Let me find somebody out there who is better at praying than me. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, jackpot. Standing in the office of the prophet of God. I execute judgment on you, COVID-19. Oh, Ramesh. I execute judgment on you, oh. Satan. Whew, that, that is intense. I definitely was doing it wrong. My energy was not there. This, this is the answer. Are my eyes big enough? Everybody out there watching this right now, put your hands up, put your hands up and execute judgment. Judgment on COVID-19. Feel free to speak in tongues. Oh, Ramesh. Judgment on you, <sighs> Satan. Now he says Satan here, which I find to be very interesting because until now, I thought we were dealing with a virus, but turns out it's Satan. Or at least Satan is responsible for the virus, which I had yet to consider before I did, like I said earlier, thorough research. I encourage all of you to do the same thing. You destroyer, you killer, you get out, you break your power. You get, you get out, just break it, you, you get power. <clears throat> You get off this nation! Get off this nation! And only this nation. Other nations need to say their own prayers. I demand Amen. judgment on you! I demand! Oh. I demand! I demand! A vaccination to come immediately! Yes! Yes! Wait, I thought we were praying for Jesus to come immediately, but I guess... We need scientists and doctors and researchers to create a vaccination. Um, obviously, all of this is done through the power and glory of God and Jesus. You know, the hand of God is working through the doctors and scientists and researchers to create a vaccination. And some people, some people, might say that the credit goes to the doctors and researchers and all that, but it's actually God, so check yourself. And yeah, maybe God could just like snap his fingers and do it on his own without needing to go through anybody else, but there's a reason for everything. And it is not your place or my place or anyone's place to ask these types of real questions. That is why faith, faith is such a beautiful thing. I call you done. I call you dong gone. I call you dong gone. You are gone, dong gone. You come down from your Amen. place of authority, destroyer. You come down and you crawl on your oh. belly. That sounds difficult. How do you crawl on your belly? Do you know how? Yeah. What the fuck do you do? <laughs> Satan! Be gone! Don't go it! You come down and you crawl on your oh. belly! Yes, you virus, you COVID-19, you come down! You're up here, I need you to come down here and crawl on your belly and, and you be dung gone with the belly crawling. Like God commanded you when he put his foot on your head in the Garden of Eden. Foot, foot on your head in the garden of Eden. Foot on your head, foot on your head, Satan. You will destroy through COVID-19. No more. No more, no more. Also, I'm a little concerned now that I don't have the power to make this work because there are two people here. You know, there's there's the main prayer and then there's like the hype man in the background that just says a few words or speaks in tongues here and there. You know, the, the no more. I, I don't have that right now. It no more. is finished. 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 All right, I can't do this. I can't do it alone. I can't. Hold on, hold on a minute. Um, would, you, would you be my hype man for a second? Sure. All right, this is better. Get down. Get down. 
All right. You know what to do? Mm -hmm. You got this? All right. Zone in. Do you feel the Holy Spirit? I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, I feel it. You feel it super hard? I feel it really hard. Okay. Because I feel it deep inside of me. You feel it? I feel it inside it's of me super too. Super hard? Yeah. Nice. I feel it really super hard inside of me. Yeah, very okay. hard. Great. All right, COVID-19. We want you out. 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 You are finished. Finished. We are finished. Finished. Dog gone. We Dog. want you. We want you gone. No more. Satan is responsible for this COVID-19 devil. Devil. We need gone. Gone. Finished. 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 <laughs> finished. Gone. Gone. <laughs> it is over. And the United States of America. Only, like I said, everybody else needs to do their own praying. The United States of America is healed you, and well Thank you. again. Again. Did I do it? Is it gone yet? No? Huh, how about that shit? Now I know that it is the 1st of April. But the sad thing is, is even though you guys know I'm being a jackass, a lot of people are genuinely 100% in that mindset, which is terrifying to me. They think prayer can fix things. They think they can still go to church because they can't catch it there. Well, people are dying because they're going to church now. And there is no shortage, no shortage of just terrible advice and terrible decisions being made by people out there. It's, it's honestly astounding. On an even more serious note, I hope people are taking this seriously because it is a huge problem and I am personally extremely terrified. Please wash your hands. Please adhere to the social distancing rules. Just stay safe. I mean, so many people are losing loved ones or are suffering with their own health and it is getting so bad in some places. It is just, it's heartbreaking to even watch the news. So I know I'm trying to make a lighthearted video and put a smile on everybody's faces just for a second to take our minds off the crap. I do want to let you know that I am taking all of this very seriously. Oh, and don't go to church on Easter. Don't do that, okay? I would also like to thank my hype man for being in this video with me. He honestly made the prayers work. An atheist and a Jew pray to Jesus and cure the coronavirus. That's gonna be the next headline. Out! Out! Out. You are finished! Finished! But props to my amazing fiance for helping me out. I actually just made a video with him on his channel where we did a girlfriend and boyfriend tag, more accurately a fiance and fiance tag, where we answered a bunch of questions about each other and it was really funny and cute. So if you would not mind, I left a link to it in the description, please click on it and watch it. Subscribe to him and send all of your love his way. Didn't stop me from throwing you through the table. It's kinda hot. <laughs> I wanted you to kiss me that night, but you didn't. No. However, we did stay up until like 7 a.m. Yeah, no, I, I remember I was like sitting like this, like, yeah, and never, nothing, no moves were made. Honestly, guys, if you, or girl, whatever, take your time. So anyway, yeah, check that out, subscribe to him. If you would like to check out my merch store, go to ffvmerch.com, lots of cute stuff. I've got underwear, that's a new thing, underwear, sweatshirts, t-shirts, tank tops, shot glasses, posters, and I'm sure CDs, uh, pop sockets, bracelets, I'm sure I'm forgetting things. Anyways, head on over to ffvmerch.com and check it out. Also, during this quarantine time, I found myself with uh, extra time on my hands because I have zero socialization, which half of me is totally fine with because I'm an introvert, but I still like, you know, some interaction would be okay, I guess. But with that extra time, I am vlogging more often, so if you go to youtube.com slash Vlogs, you can see how I'm spending my quarantined time. As you know from my last video, I just had a birthday, so I posted a vlog of the partying I did in my house on my birthday. Things got crazy. We'll also leave that link in the description below. And finally, I made a TikTok. Something I never thought I would say, but there's actually a lot of crazy preachers on TikTok that are very entertaining. This is all I'm gonna say about the coronavirus because I have some pretty strong opinions as to what I believe about its validity. However, and I've made some other stuff that I think is kind of fun. I don't know, check it out. It may get bigger, it may get a little bigger, it may not get bigger at all, we'll see what happens. But regardless of what happens, we're totally prepared. <laughs> so yeah, follow me on TikTok if you want. I hope you guys are seriously staying safe. Have a wonderful April Fool's Day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Psh. Satan, be gone, don't go on. <laughs> All right, that's good enough.